Welcome back to 25 Things You Didn't Know About Dancing Favorites. Many of the celebrities on Dancing with the Stars didn't initially jump at the chance to strut their stuff on the hit reality show. They asked me to come out a couple seasons before I said yes. It seemed to work out schedule-wise, and my mom kept pressuring me, so you know, just to make her happy, I succumbed to her pressure. Well, I'd already been offered Dancing with the Stars a number of times. You know, eventually they you kept saying, well, do you want to do it? And I was intrigued by it, but um, my husband was very against it. My agent contacted me, and uh, being this macho football player, I said, no, I'm not going to do it. There's no way I'm going to put on a pair of dancing shoes. When 25 Things You Didn't Know About Dancing Favorites returns, we find out who comes up with the cool dance moves on the show. That and much more, so stay tuned. Welcome back to 25 Things You Didn't Know About Dancing Favorites. Number five, choreography is a collaboration. We have to choreograph the routine. We need to make sure it's entertaining enough and easy enough for the celebrities. You do have that four to six weeks prior to the taping of the show to um, get them ready. It's definitely up to the professional dancers to teach their celebrity partners the fancy footwork, but inevitably it becomes a collaborative effort. I always try to build my choreography around designing my partner to look good, not making me look good, because that's the whole point of the show. He did everything. I mainly come up with the crazy ideas of flips and jumps because that's when I feel comfortable. So I'll teach her like four different you know patterns that we're gonna do and then I'll fill it afterwards. So I'll teach her lots of random bits and I'll put it all together see what she's in the mood to do. The partner is very much part of the process. I was not a good turner you know and if you put like these triple spins in it just made me look worse. So I'd say, let's do a single spin instead of a triple. That's my input. I just kind of shut up and listened and did what I was told. Number four, the weed eater has roots in dancing. Mark might have sambaed with Sabrina, but greatness runs deep in the Ballas family. Without Mark's grandfather, George Ballas Sr., the weed eater would never have graced yards everywhere. In 1971, the idea came to Ballas Sr. during his frustration in keeping his lawn neatly trimmed. The original contraption consisted of a discarded popcorn can with nylon fish wire poking through several holes. George then converted his lawn edger using the new invention and the weed eater was born. Thanks to the inventor Ballas Sr., the weed eater has become a staple in most American homes. And now, there are over two dozen similar devices on the market. Number three, it's more than just a dance. Did you know there's a meaning behind each dance you see every week on Dancing with the Stars? Don't worry, you're not the only one that didn't know. Everyone asks why it's called the Foxtrot, and I actually was like, I, I really don't know why it's called the Foxtrot. I never thought in a million years that I would say that I've done the Paso Doble, the Cha Cha, the Waltz. You have rumba, I don't yeah. know why it's called rumba, but it's uh, very Latin. But believe it or not, there are rich, flavorful meanings behind each dance. The rumba is meant to be the most romantic, um, passionate dance. It's about a man and a woman and the relationship between the two. The cha-cha is a Latin American dance that was created from the mambo, but it's just a little slower and the steps are taken on the beat. It starts on the two instead of a one count. So like one, two, three, four, it's like one, two, you start on two. It's always weird to me. But it's only natural that everyone has their favorite dance. My favorite dances. I think the tango was very intense. We really kick butt with like the um, ballroom, which is like the foxtrot and the quick step and stuff, which I had never imagined. My favorite dance is the one that the judges like most. Coming up. Why don't we team up a professional dancer with a celebrity? We'll tip you off to what show started the worldwide Dancing with the Stars craze and reveal the number one fact you didn't know about dancing favorites only on TV Guide Network, America's TV headquarters. Welcome back to 25 Things You Didn't Know About Dancing Favorites. Number two, Dancing with the Stars began with the Brits. 
It just so happens that the Dancing with the Stars phenomenon didn't originate in the United States. It's based on a UK reality TV series called Strictly Come Dancing. It used to be Come Dancing, and it was um, a British show on the BBC, counties dancing against one another. Then they changed it. They did England versus countries. And then some clever guy decided, well, we should bring that show back. But why don't we team up a professional dancer with a celebrity? Not only have I seen Strictly Come Dancing, but that was the real reason I said yes to host Dancing with the Stars. ABC gave me a copy of the British show. And about 10 minutes in, I thought, OK, I get it. It's like a throwback to old style variety. And now, this Strictly Come Dancing format is shown all over the world in over 30 countries. I think it's in India and China, it's, it's all over the world, you know. Dancing's just taken over the world, it's crazy. I didn't have any sense that it would be the big hit that it has become. Number one, the winners are on the ball. I love trophies, you know, and when I saw this, I said, Julianne, I really want that trophy now, I don't care. Season five winner of Dancing with the Stars, Elio Castroneves, danced away with a sparkly trophy that pretty much looks like a disco ball. The trophy I make fun of on the air, the person who uh, designed it, who is a friend of mine, and who always gets a little bit, you know, when I, when I kid about it, it is part of the charm of the show, I think. You know what, actually, it looks good. It's just that we all know a trophy ball, we know what it costs, so we think it's bad, but it actually looks good. I didn't need the mirrored ball, to be honest with you. I think everybody really wants the mirror ball trophy. They just do. Wow, to come, to, to bring this oh, home, I can, I, I'm, I'm like so happy. But the hardest part about winning the shiny ball is deciding where to put it. I'm really gonna have it rotating somewhere. Like, I'm really gonna spend some money and do that. Or I'm gonna put it right on the damn dining room table. It's in my closet <laughs> over one of my mantles, so I get to see it, nobody else get to see it. <laughs> oh, right between my two indie trophies, you know? That's it for 25 Things You Didn't Know About Dancing Favorites. For more on all your dancing favorites, log on to tvguide.com.